Hi students, welcome to our online classes. I have explained basic to applications of coordination chemistry in the previous videos. In this video, we will see some important objective type questions and answers with clarifications. The first question, the IUPAC name of for the complex COnH3 twice ClONO Py twice NO3 is there are four options are given. Uh, in the first option, actually you see the O bipyridine is given. O bipyridine is not a correct name of this ligand. So it should be dipyridine. So it is wrong answer. And next the option B. In the option B, metal is suffixed as 8 as cobaltate. But the complex species is cationic species. The metal should be named as such. So this answer is also wrong. The next option C. In the third option, pyridine ligand is prefixed as bis. This is also wrong according to IUPAC nomenclature. So this answer is also wrong. The last option D. The answer is D is correct. It is according to IUPAC nomenclature. So D is correct. There is diamine chlorido nitrito O dipyridine cobalt 3 nitrate. So this is the correct answer. So this is D is a correct option. The second question, different hydrated isomorph of CrCl3, 6H2O cannot be differentiated by option A, precipitation by silver nitrate, option B, magnetic moment, option C, dipole moment, option D, conductivity measurements. First you see the precipitation by silver nitrate. So CrCl3, 6H2O uh, can, can be of uh, more than three isomers, hexa aqua chromium 3 chloride, penta aqua chlorido chromium 3 chloride, tetra aqua uh, chlorido dichlorido chromium 3 uh, chloride so it can be it can make uh, three different isomers in all complexes the number of ions are different so because of this what is happened uh, the different isomer first isomer will make uh, more silver nitrate precipitate as three chloride ions are available outside the bracket in the second complex two chloride ions are available so this will make smaller amount of silver chloride with the complexation with uh, silver nitrate Third one has only a very smaller amount because only one chloride ion is available for the uh, precipitation. So because of this, all three isomers will make a different uh, amount of uh, quantity of uh, silver chloride solution. So this is different. So it can be differentiated by uh, silver nitrate. The next one is magnetic moment. So now you see in all the complex complexes, the ions are different. The first complex has uh, four ions and uh, second complex has three ions, third complex has two ions, so they have different conductivity. So with respect to the conductivity, so conductivity is also being uh, different. So conductivity is also being different. And then precipitation of the silver nitrate is also being uh, different. So the next is the dipole moment. Dipole moment is also being different for uh, three isomers as numbers of charges carried by complex species and ionizable species are different. The first complex, uh, the cationic and ionic species are 3 plus and 3 minus charges. The second one is a 2 plus and 2 minus charges. And the third one, 1 plus and 1 minus charges. So all are different. So because of this, dipole moment is also being different. So the final option, we have to come to the option B, there is a magnetic moment. So finally, if we come to the option B, the magnetic moment, it should not be different uh, to all uh, uh, isomers since chromium 3 plus as unpaired electron as CR3 plus is D3 electronic configurations for all isomers. For all isomers the configuration D3 configuration is uh, same, similar. So that's why in the uh, in the aqua, liga, aqua chloride ligands, yeah, weaker ligand, all the electrons in the 3D orbitals are unpaired. So the all electrons, three electrons uh, present in the D3 orbitals are unpaired. So, the magnetic moment values are same for all isomers. So B is correct answer. The question is, which one of the following complex, the color is not due to DD transition. There are four uh, options are given. The first one is hexa aqua titanium uh, 3 ion. The second one is hexa aqua uh, ion 2 sulfate. The third one is uh, tetramine copper 2 ion, the fourth one is chromate ion. 
So the, you take the first option, take the first option, titanium 3 plus oxygen state and it is in D1 configuration. So one electron present in 3D orbital which can make DD transitions from T2G to EG orbital. So it's a DD transition is possible here. Then second, the second option, uh, iron in 2 plus oxidation state at a D6 configuration, here also DD transition possible from T2G to EG orbital. The next option C, the, the option C, the copper is in plus 2 oxygen state and D9 configurations which is possible for DD transitions. So the last option is a D, but in the option D, the chromate ion, the chromium is in 6 plus oxidation state and D0 configuration. So no electron present in the D orbital, all are empty, so no DD transitions possible. So the charge transfer transitions can be taken place from oxo ligand to empty orbital of the metal ion. So the charge transfer transition only being possible here, so DD transition is not possible here. So the option D is a correct answer. The question is, the complex exhibits lowest energy absorption band is, there are four options given. Which one has the lowest energy of the, that is the crystal uh, field stabilization energy is the lowest for which option? So the first one is tetracyanonicolate 2 ion. Second option is tetracarbonyl nickel 0. Third one is tetrachloride nickelate 2 ion. Fourth one is hexaqua nickel 2 ion. So the first option, the uh, cyano ligand is a stronger ligand, we can expect higher crystal field splitting energy. So here the absorption band is higher. The second option also Carbonyl ligand is also being a stronger ligand, we can also expect the higher absorption in CFSC. And the third option, chlorido ligand is a weaker ligand, we can expect lower absorption energy. So only the, this option is a somewhat a very uh, correct option, is supposed to be. But in the fourth option, it is also an octahedral complex and its absorption is higher than all other tetrahedral complexes. So <coughs> the correct option is C. So the tetrachloro nickel 2 ion absorbs lowest energy, so the option is C. Question 5 Which will give Fe3 plus ions in solutions? There are four options are given. First, you see this first option, option A. It is a double salt known as more salt. It will dissociate, dissociate into ions when it is dissolved in water. But in this double salt, ferrous sulfate present which will dissociate into Fe2 plus ferrous ion, that is ferrous ions. So, this option is wrong option. The next option B. Extra cyanoferrate 3 ion is a complex species which will not dissociate into ions. So, this is also a wrong option. The next option C Fe2SO4 tries. It is ferric sulfate. It is not a complex species. So, it will dissociate into ions as ferric ion Fe3 plus ion and sulfate ion SO4 2 minus ion when it is dissolved in water. So, this is a correct option. Now, you go to the fourth option also. In this option, the complex species extra cyanoferrate 2 ion will not dissociate into uh, the ions because it is a complex species. So the final correct option is C. Question number 6, which possesses tetrahedral shape sp3 hybridization of central atom? There are four options of given. First you see in the first option uh, tetracarbonyl nickel 0. The first one tetracarbonyl nickel 0, nickel is in zero oxidation state and D10 configurations. Carbon ligand is a stronger ligand and a pairing of electrons takes place here. So all D orbitals are completely filled. So no availability of empty D orbitals for hybridization. So the 4S and 4P orbitals are empty. So the SP3 hybridization is possible here. The next option B. In this option, tetramine zinc 2 ion. Zinc is in plus 2 oxidation state and also D10 configuration and having paired 3D completely filled orbital. So here also as in the previous case, sp3 hybridization is possible. The next option C. In this option, tetramine cadmium 2 ion. Uh, there is a 4d10 5s2 configuration for cadmium. Cadmium is also in 4d10 configuration having all d orbitals are paired. So here also sp3 hybridization is only possible as 5s and 5p orbitals are empty to make sp3 hybridized orbitals. So the correct option is D. D is the correct option since all are tetrahedral complexes. The next question 7. The coordination species tetramine copper 2 ion has option A square planar configuration with one unpaired electron. B 
the tetrahedral configuration with one unpaired electron. Option C, the tetrahedral configuration with all electrons paired. Option D, square planar configuration with all electrons paired. Now you see these options. Uh, here copper is in plus 2 oxidation state. So in this complex, copper is in plus 2 oxygen state and D9 configuration. So the empty orbital available in 3D orbitals. So no empty orbitals are available in 3D orbitals. So only 4S and 4P orbitals are available. So sp3 hybridization uh, is taking place here and also one unpaired electron in 3d orbital so the answer is tetrahedral this is sp as is it is a sp3 hybridization so the answer is tetrahedral configuration with one unpaired electron so the correct option is b there is a b is a correct option then question number eight which of the following is paramagnetic so first option you see in the first option chromium is in plus three oxygen state that is in D3 configuration. So all three 3D electrons are unpaired and paramagnetic. So the first option may be correct, but anyhow, we will see the other options also. The option B, the second option, chromium is in zero oxidation state and a D6 configuration. As carbon ligand is stronger ligand, all electrons are paired and not and no, not unpaired electrons available to be paramagnetic. So this option is wrong. Then in the option C, ion is in a zero oxidation state and a D8 configuration as carbon ligand is stronger ligand and electrons are paired so no unpaired electrons are present so it is also a diamagnetic diamagnetic the option D the ion is in plus 2 oxygen state and a D6 configuration cyano ligand is also a, being a stronger ligand all electrons in the DDR plus get paired so no unpaired electrons so it is also a diamagnetic so the first option the only parametric converse is the first one so the first option A is correct answer The next question 9. The color of the coordination complex is mainly due to option A transition of electron from 3D to 4S orbital. Option B transition of electron within 3D orbitals. Option C transition of electron from 3D to 4P orbital. Option D transition of electron from 4S to 4P orbital. Actually you see the color of the complex is due to crystal field splitting in D orbitals due to approach of the ligand and that leads to the electron-electron repulsions. So the splitting in DD orbitals makes DD transitions possible. That will decide the absorption of UV or visible region to decide the color of the complex. So the DD transitions that uh, transitions within the D orbital decide the color of the complex. So the correct option is B. B is correct option. The last question, question number 10. Which type of isomerism is possible for the compound diamine, dichlorido, platinum, two complex? There are four options are given A optical isomerism, B linkage isomerism, C geometrical isomerism, D coordination isomerism. The option A optical isomerism is not possible as symmetry is expected due to presence of same ligands present twice that is two chloride ligands and two amines ligands are present. So this is not a correct option. The next option B, the option B linkage isomerism is not possible here as there is uh, not a presence of any ambitendate ligand but here the chlorido and amine ligands are monotendate so the linkage isomerism is not possible then option c geometrical isomerism that is known as uh, cis and trans isomerism so this isomerism is possible as same two ligands either chlorido or amine may be present same side or opposite side so the geometrical isomerism is possible here so this may be the correct options Anything, anyway, you go to the last option, there is option D, the coordination isomerism. The coordination isomerism is possible only if cationic and anionic convex species are present. But this is not such a compound. So the only correct option is C. There is a geometrical isomerism is possible. The correct answer is C. Thank you for watching.